about teaching and I think about learning and I wasn't schooled that way. I learned how to act from the school of beating myself up and torturing myself and walking down the streets of Manhattan always crying and always in pain, always. And being so neurotic that, I, I mean, I, I like, I, there was nothing stable about me in my own life. And I realized that that cuts across the real creative, the, the quantum aspect of creativity is, comes from love. You're optimally creative when you are actually tapping into love. Love is an expanding force. So when you're kind to yourself, when you're gentle with yourself, when you're compassionate to yourself and to others, when you're empathetic and you're understanding and you're patient, then you're channeling that which is actually your essence. And then actually, if you think about creativity, it's an opening, the aperture opens. So then you start to have insight and like, Lah! or Oprah would call it the ahas, or the clouds will part and you will get clarity. Think about it. When you get stuck on something in life and you ruminate and you ruminate and you ruminate and you ruminate, the answers don't come. Then what happens? Oh, there's science that proves like when you're in the shower, what happens? Well, lots of things happen in the shower. <laughs> Wait a minute. Light bulb goes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, I would go there. No, you have all of a sudden the light bulb happens. Why? Well, there's one part of it is your your body physically is in a state of relaxation, release. That the energetic part of being here drops into something else. You know, it's interesting that now here I feel like I'm going to talk about love because, you know, I was thinking about philosophy and philosophy, you know, is broken into two parts from the Greek and phileo comes from the word to befriend or to love. And I think that's the, 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 that was synonymous in Greek times, which I think is amazing. Friendship and love were the same. And Sophia means uh, to come from wisdom so, uh, or to learning. So it's the love of learning. And then I thought about, I read this uh, uh, quote uh, from John Cassavetes, who's a hero of mine. And that made me think about the whole idea of what a hero is, but I'll come, I'll, that's a whole other lecture. But he, John Cassavetes, if you don't know him, he's really the father of independent filmmaking from the 1970s. Film, independent filmmaking as we know it, he was one of the trailblazers of it. He didn't believe in the economic system. He did not believe in like big studio releases. He did not believe, he believed that artists often, often, all the time would lose in a system that was built around the monetary. His work is really amazing. I don't know, it's not necessarily considered commercially successful, but what he was about was having experiences of love with people he wanted to create with. And so he says, to have a philosophy is to know how to love. What better philosophy of acting, to me, then understanding, you know, I'm always telling auditors here, you guys know this, but I don't believe in scene study. I used to, I don't believe in it anymore. It's not, the, the answers are not in the scene. Because the answers in the scene, all actors can figure out within two seconds. Unless you've never ever taken an acting class before, and, that, and then that can be solved in a day. The, that real answers come from, it's not scene study, it's self-study. And then I thought about, well, the whole philosophy about how I teach comes from love, because if you're studying self, you must learn to love self. That is the greatest, first of all, the moment is the greatest gift of love you're ever going to be given. Something I said in the intro class today, I was crying so much today, I'm cried out. But one of the things that I thought about is, why is it that we just don't even acknowledge and become more grateful for existence itself? You guys, you're existing. Existence itself. There is nothing else. I mean, you may have many different ideas and thoughts and philosophies about things beyond this planet, and that's fine. But I'm just talking about being born into who you are right now in this very short amount of time that you have on this planet. That existence is, is born out of gratitude. If we could just get our understanding of it out of the end results of things. Your existence doesn't become more glorified because of, you know, getting a job, although I want you all to get jobs. But just really honoring, like, I'm here. I, I've, I've survived a day. If you believe in karma, the, the work that you've had to do in other lives to actually be in this incarnation as a human being, now that's going to make me cry. Thinking about that. Like, just think about how amazing you are to get here as a human being this go around. Yeehaw! Because next time you might be a bug. You might got to start all over again. I don't know. But isn't that amazing? Just right now, it's Sam Rowley having his existence on this planet. And Gina. And Barbara. 
And then, okay, I was also thinking about this as well. See, this is, this is all connected. I was actually this week in a lot, I was thinking about what is it that I'm about, what I'm excited about, what I'm, what I'm, oh, Lordy. <laughs> My whole thing is really, it is about love. Not airy fairy, woo woo, uh, la la la, like concrete, balls to the wall, living it like a mother foe. Love is, is, love sometimes is fierce. Have you heard of tough love? <laughs> I am known to tough love people sometimes. So I got just distracted by my own being caught up in that. Where was I going? Oh, I was thinking about it. But here's the thing, and then I guess this turned into a lesson. I was telling Barbara, I don't have a lesson tonight. And she's like, you always will have a lesson. That's trust, which is also love. <laughs> it's all connected. This is the thing, you actors, you don't trust yourselves. You do not trust yourselves innately. You don't trust that you've already got all the goods that you're ever going to need. You do. A really great acting teacher is just there to help facilitate you opening yourself to you. That's it. That's the only gift you've ever going to get. That's it. That gift of sharing yourself is a gift of love. Not the character, not the scene idea, yourself. Going into the room and being brave enough to be like, this is my four minutes to show you how I would do this role. This is how I resonate with this. This is how I interpret or create this person, this woman, this man. Let me show you. And if it's coming from love and service, my God. I mean, that's a whole other conversation. But I just want to get back to this thing that I was thinking about today. So Godzilla opened. I didn't see it. It's okay. Great. Good for them. That's amazing to get anything made, I think, at any level. But I thought, hmm, I don't think we depart the planet thinking about, oh, I'm so glad I saw that movie. <laughs> That's not take No disrespect to people who are making movies. No disrespect to making anything creative. You know what you depart the planet with? Do you know when you meet and greet and say goodbye to someone with? Is, is love, is how well did you love? How well did you connect? How well did you share? How well were you vulnerable? How well were you brave? If that shows up in cinematic form, that's great. But who cares about that if you're not invested in that in your own life? So it does come back to love. And there's many different myriad forms of love. Agape love, Eros love, mother-child love, companionship, friendship, so I just wrote, let acting be an expression of your saying to yourself in the world, how can I love? Where can I love? To whom can I love? It's one of my big themes that I've discovered as I get older in life. I've always was hold I don't do it anymore. I was always holding them on to my love for that right person, the right time, with the right situation, the right scenario, looking a certain way. When we're in Paris together, eh. Those ideas, those are ideas, and they're great to have those visions for yourself, but if you're holding it out, Feeling like, first of all, it's a non-renewable resource. It is. It's constantly renewable. The more you give of it, the more you give away, the more you're going to get and rejuvenate yourself, for sure. I think the studio is the most amazing example of it. You just spread it out and it keeps coming back. But if you're holding on to it because, oh, it's only going to be given to one person, well, good luck with that, really. You guys, your lives are bigger than just one person and one form of love. That's my point about it. So why are, you, why, are you, why are you not giving it? So let's just end with this. I want you to think in terms of this week, not with the expectation. Acting to me, meaning action in life and act, acting in our work, is, is taking action or expressing without expectation. Just see if you can give more love away. Just try it. And you'll, you'll find actually you don't want anything in return. That the actual joy of doing that alights you and makes you feel alive and makes you feel like, well, this is really what it's all about. Now, why can't I do that more often in my work and in auditions and in my relationships with people? Why am I scared? What is it that you have to be scared of? That you're going to be rejected by it? I don't think so. I think if you think about the universality of being human, is everybody in here I think is really probably absorbing what I'm saying, that just goes to show you we're all hardwired the same way. So we're all seeking it. We're all wanting to do it. But people don't know how to do it. I was in an elevator at the meeting at a meeting today, and I was not on my phone, but I was like, I don't know, I was like spacing out. So I didn't get off on my floor. 
and then I couldn't get back down because it was one of those pleasing. You had to have a program. I didn't have a program, so I had to go all the way back down. And then again, I was spacing off, and the doors opened at number four, and I crashed into someone. I like crashed into him. I was like, oh, this isn't the lower level. And then he walked in, and I thought, oh, well, that was how dramatic. We just crashed into each other. We're going to have an experience. That didn't happen. Because what did he do? He got on his phone. <laughs> You can't penetrate, I can't look at, I can't penetrate through to another people and have an experience when you're here. Life is not here. It's not here. Love is not here. Information, data, stimulation. Stimulation is here. Addiction is here. That's not love. Okay, I don't know. I'm just going off on many different things. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we all just took a shower together. Yeah. Okay, I'm so <laughs> So, okay, so... Yes, let's think about love a little bit more this week. Please try to put down those cell phones, people. Try to put down those cell phones and be out in the world more like this and watch what happens. The things that you're wanting to have happen will happen in ways that you can't even imagine.